Goodwood Festival of Speed is a big kind of UK, uh, you know, mostly car event, but there's there's increasing kind of new cool tech and stuff that's part of the event. They set us the challenge of seeing how close we could get to launching a sort of revisit of the whole uh, e-suit for that event. And um, and we, we set about it. So we ended up with a new set of batteries, new set of ducted fans, still using the same fundamental layout that the um, jet suit has, where you've got thrust on each arm and thrust around the back. You just don't have the energy density that you have with fossil fuels quite yet. And therefore your you know lift capability and flight time endurance and stuff is really limited. The lightest member of our team is about 60 kilos, which is what, uh, about 130, 135 pounds or something like that. It gets him off the ground for about 15 seconds. We were even getting to the point of getting the pilot to go and kind of make sure he hadn't eaten too much breakfast to be able to get it off the ground. It's that marginal. It's actually quite pleasant flying it. It's when you shut down and then you realize you've got this massive, you know, 60 kilos, 130 odd pounds of weight on your back. That it's not so fun. It's not going to be impossible to imagine that, you know, electric motors and um, ducted fans, the blade technology, you know, and then obviously particularly the battery technology will, will it's not going to stop, um, you know, stop advancing. So, um, yeah, I, I think within two or three years, we'll have something that's starting to get competitive with the jet suit. And loads of other benefits that could come with uh, an electric suit that's um, you know, if we if we tackle the current challenges uh, and it's things like, you know, instant start, there's no kind of start up time, even though we've got that very short now with the jet suit. Um, there's no start start delay. There's no heat. Um, it's quieter. And also, most spectacularly, it can uh, withstand being immersed in water, which is, you know, pretty cool. You can't do that with jet engines.